on to our episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. I'm Christopher. And I'm Tasha. So we're taking a look at the official show for new Paramount Pictures original animated film, Pause of Fury, The Legend of Hank. Uh, so this is based around an original story concept from Blazing Saddles from Mel Brooks and Richard yes. Pryor, respectively. Me, I'm, I, I'm personally been waiting for this film because I've been I've heard rumors about it and things like that and my brother knows I am a massive Mel Brooks fan I mean you know a lot of us are but I'm more, I'm more that massive really big fan of his comedy and his work and stuff like that and the, the you know this here and this how they're taking it, it's a huge inspiration from Blazing Saddles and translating it to more of a kid friendly type of film <laughs> compared to Blazing Saddles itself one of the co-writers of this did Species yeah, and that's it. Right now, that's right now. The only hesitation is pe the people who are working on it, the writers and stuff like that. So the directors have worked on a bunch of numerous different animated films themselves. Uh, the cast is more interesting. So we got Michael Sarah's Hank, who is our main character, who's focusing on his destiny, who he believes is his destiny to become a samurai. Yeah. Um, that also stars the voices of Samuel Jackson, Michelle Yeoh, Mel Brooks, of course. God bless his soul. Still alive. Um, uh, also, Ricky, the voice of Ricky Gervais and Jimon Huntsu yeah. as well. So let's dive into this and see what we're going to get out of uh, this official trailer for Paws of Fury The Legend of Hank. That came out of my mouth. Yeah. So here we go. Oh, what's up? It's me, Samuel L. Jackson. I play a samurai cat in the new animated theatrical film, Paws of Fury. You're Let clearly not reading off of it. That means roll it. Really? Why do you want to be a samurai? I live in a bad part of town full of bad dogs. Everybody always picked on me. I thought if I could be a samurai, it would change everything. Sounds like you'd need a mentor. Perhaps a once great samurai who has fallen on hard times and maybe could use some help himself. But where can I find one? What? Oh, God, it's here. Who even made that? It's you. Don't, no don't believe family. everything you read. <laughs> Because that's all it's all samurai. It's a samurai. Fun, isn't it? Go get him. He's literally using a cat to try to hit another cat. He's a dog. Get back out of there. It's Mel Brooks comedy. That's the whole point of it. It's like. Ooh, ma. I'm sorry, so they, I recognize a lot of like their Mel Brooks parts of humor. It's like, like he's like, where did he come from? It's like, that's the whole point of Mel Brooks. That's the whole point of Mel Brooks. I know the only one that made me laugh was when it's just the sign comes again. What the hell is this? Where did this come 
from? Because I'm sitting going, yeah, that's Mel Brooks for you. That's his humor. Uh, it looks fine. I, it does. I'm not, I'm not saying it's the greatest story ever, but I can see the elements of where, bla- you know, certain elements of like Blazing Saddles, stuff like that. I'll give it this. It's a couple notches uh, above like straight to DVD, like it animated does. films. It does. You know, at first, especially when he first started, because it's like, we were like, wait a minute, what's going go with the animation? It's like, oh, okay, that's just a flashback. Okay, I like how they're doing the flashback a little bit. You know, like the way he's re, you know, the way he's trying to survive and stuff like that. But, you know, like I said, I, I enjoyed it. Like I said, I, if you, like I said, me, I, I enjoy Melbourne's humor. Does it live up to the day? No, it doesn't. For some of his past films, they know oh, that. Oh, no, I'm one of the, one of probably like five to, hand, to a handful of people watch the Spaceballs animated series. Trust me. It wasn't good. No, it, wasn't. Um, it was not good. Yeah. Um, but as for this, eh, looks fine. It looks fine. Like I said, like I said, you can see the elements where they come in for Blazing Saddles that they've added in, but he's re-enhanced it and stuff like that. And of course, getting Samuel L. Jackson to try to try to curse, but that's what he can get out of his mouth. Uh, <laughs> you know, but it looks like I said, it's not the greatest thing in the world. You know, but it's still, it's for me, it's just a uh, you know. It's, it's going to be a fun watch. It's going to be an enjoyable, fun watch, only because, you know, you got Mel Brooks on, on the writer's table pretty much in this one. Uh, and, you know, and you get, you're getting a little bit of the Mel Brooks humor involved here. And I yeah. love his humor. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Basically. So, other than that, if you're new to the channel, you hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about... Paramount original animated series hit the subscribe button down below hit the bell icon as well <laughs> what did you guys think of this trailer I know pretty much uh, it doesn't look like it's the greatest it doesn't look like that Pixar level but you know if you're a fan of Mel Brooks you love his humor or at least love some of his films and enjoy his uh, films and stuff like that you know what do you think of you know their inspiration and you know faithful inspiration from what they got from Lazy Saddles to translate into more of a Kid like film overall, does it look like they're doing a good job? You see, you notice the spots where it's like, okay, that's definitely you can see where Mel Brooks added his humor in there, here and there, stuff like that. I mean, let us know in the comments down below. Put down to that of our reaction overall, pretty much for this trailer, but most importantly, we thank you for watching. So, until next time, I'm Kirsten. I'm Christopher, and this has been a very Hank filled episode of SRB. See ya later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as one of our other SRB shows, check out one of the playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros. As well as on Facebook at Super Reaction Bros.